G'day, welcome to my video on the best rigs for beach fishing. In this video I'm going to show you all the rigs that I've learned over 40 years of fishing the beach. Rigs for every different type of species that you're going to catch off the beach. And soon I've got another video coming up on the best baits for beach fishing, where I'll show you exactly how to bait up each different bait. Whether it be slab baits, live baits, pilchards, worms, squid, all the different baits so that you know exactly how to do it the right way. And if you're struggling catching beach worms, which are an amazing bait, check out my website where I have my masterclass beach worm series. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna head back to my place and sit down with the tackle and show you how to make all of the best rigs. First of all, it's good to discuss what exactly is a fishing rig. Quite simply, a fishing rig is the way that we set up to catch a specific type of fish and that influences what size hook we choose, how big a sinker we use, a small sinker, big sinker or no sinker, and also what breaking strain of fishing line that we use. These all influence making a fishing rig. So the first rig we're gonna to do today is a classic beach fishing rig that is used all over Australia and something that I've been using for about 40 years off the beach. It's super simple and it's purely a running sinker with a single hook. So I'm going to show you now and just uh, do this rig. Um, so what we've got here is I've got my line and just a medium sized ball sinker. So I'm gonna, first thing that goes on my line is my sinker. Then I'm tying on a swivel. First up, there's your sinker and a swivel, but we need a leader. I don't like to use too long a leader because when you cast, it just flies around in the air too much. It doesn't fly as nicely. So I reckon a litre about 40, 50 centimetres is good. So now I'm just gonna tie the other end of the swivel. This is a 15 kilo line, it's a little bit harder to bite. So now you can see I've got my ball sinker coming down to the swivel and I have my leader roughly half a metre in length. Now I'm going to tie on the hook. In this case, I have a long shank hook because this first rig is to fish for whiting. And when we fish for whiting, we use a long shank hook. So once again, I'm tying on this long shank hook. Now make, make sure you watch my video coming up on the one simple knot that I use for 90% of my fishing, which is really easy to tie. So that video is coming up shortly. So here we have it. This is a classic, simple, one hook beach fishing rig with a running sinker. The reason people like to use a running sinker is because when the fish picks up the bait in the water, oh, would you believe I've hooked the table? Back in business. Okay. When a fish picks up your bait and tries to swim off, it can just swim off and the line pulls through the sinker and there's no resistance. The fish doesn't know there's a sinker there. So it's very natural. Uh, and that's the general thinking about using a running sinker that it, the fish don't know. So this is rig number one, a classic single hook beach fishing rig set up for whiting fishing. When we're fishing for whiting, the main baits that we're using off the beach are worms or yabbies and a long shank hook is perfect for them. Now we're gonna move into rig number two, which is basically the same rig, but with a different hook, because with rig number two, we're fishing for brim and not whiting. Now that we're fishing for brim, we're gonna put a different hook on. This is actually a 3.0 beak hook, which is very similar to a 3.0 suicide, but it's a really good size hook for brim. And when you're fishing off the beach, you can use different baits with this hook. You can use prawns, you can use worms, you can use yabbies. You can use pilchard, you can use slab baits, uh, pippies. So here we have a running sinker, single hook rig once again, but this time we're set up with a different hook fishing for brim. Okay, now with rig number three. Rig number three is a cracking rig. It's also super simple, same setup with a running sinker down to a swivel, but this time we are using ganged hooks and pilchards for bait. Now when you're fishing with a ganged hook and pilchard, because you've got a larger bait, if you have too long a leader, 
it really does swing around a lot in the air. So when you're using ganged hooks, it's best to have a short leader. So I'm actually going to cut this down now. Um, and I know from experience that really, I only want to have a leader which is maybe 20 centimeters long. I'm just going to tie these on here. If I'm fishing using whole pilchards ganged off the beach, this is the way I would rig it up. You can see that the leader itself between the swivel and where the hooks start is only about 15 to 20 centimeters long. When you cast this rig, it flies through the air really well. You actually get, it makes it easier to cast a long distance if you need to. This rig with a gang hook with a short leader, simple running sinker rig is a fantastic rig for fishing off the beach for tailor and flathead and salmon and also mulloway. Really simple, really effective. This next rig that I'm going to show you is really awesome. I've used it to catch multiple species off the beach. And you use this rig when you're using a half pilchard or a small slab bait or fish fillet or some squid. If you're using a bait that's not as big as a whole pilchard, you can cast it a bit further, but oh, it's fantastic. With this particular rig, it's the same setup as the other rigs with the running sinker to a swivel. And then you've got a medium length leader of about 35 centimeters. And then what you do is you actually put on a stinger hook or what's also called a keeper hook. So what I've got here is I've got a size four suicide. It's just a small hook. And I'm gonna put this hook on first. This is 15 kilo line, so it's reasonably heavy. Um, so I've got a size four suicide and a 4.0 suicide, which I'm now going to tie on. This is an awesome rig for using a small to medium sized bait where I have a 4.0 hook with a stinger or keeper hook. It's amazing how many fish get taken out by that little stinger. And I use this particular setup to fish for brim and flathead, but I've also caught snapper off the beach, mulloway, trevally, so many different species using this particular rig. It's, I love it. The only thing is when you do use it, Generally, you need to have a leader of about 15 kilos because when tailor take this size bait, they can bite you off quite easily. And with a 15 kilo mono leader, you still catch most tailor. If you get a really big one, if they swallow it, you're still going to get bitten off. But I don't generally fish specifically for tailor when I'm using this rig. I'm usually fishing for brim and flathead and other species. But if the tailor are around, at least it's better than using light line. So I can highly recommend this rig. It's one of my favorite rigs for off the beach. Now it's time for rig number five, which is my classic Mulloway rig for fishing off the beach. This rig is good for live baiting and also slab baits or squid baits. And it's a very simple rig, works really well. Essentially, I have a, a star sinker um, attached with a snap swivel and I have here a 40 centimeter amount of line tied to a swivel. Then what you do is you've created this, then you put your main line through the top part of the swivel, like so. So that's running like that. Now also I have just made up a short leader with a 9.0 hook. This leader would be about 20, 25 centimeters long, tied to a stainless steel ring. So just getting back to my other piece here. So I have my main line going through the top of the swivel, which is attached to the line with the sinker. Then I tie the main line off onto the stainless steel ring. All right, I've now completed the rig. You can see here my swivel, which is attached to my line with my sinker, with my main line going through tied onto the stainless steel ring going to a single 9-0 hook. This is a great rig for a live bait. If I'm using a slab bait or a squid bait, I add a second hook. And when I add a second hook, you could put another big hook on, you don't really have to. It's almost like a large keeper hook. I'm putting on a, this hook's a, a 5-0 suicide. I've got a 5-0 and a 9-0. You simply make a loop, put it through the eye of your second hook, pull that loop up and put it over the hook 
and that pull that down and you can adjust it while it's loose you can adjust it the position of it depending on the size of your bait and then basically what you're left with here is two hooks and with that set up you can put on a fresh fillet of tailor or salmon or you can put a nice piece of squid on there and sometimes I like to put a half hitch around the top of this hook like so just to hold that in place so that it keeps those hooks in the same position so there you have it that's all you need that's a great rig for Mulloway the main line here is 15 kilo the whole lot is 15 kilos 15 kilo main line 15 kilo leader and you can land pretty much anything now we have rig number six which is my go-to whiting rig this is what I mainly use fishing off the beach a two hook rig where essentially it's a paternoster rig if you know what that is but I have a star sinker with a snap swivel about 40 centimeters of line up to a three-way swivel and then off the three-way swivel I have a short leader with a long shank hook and about another 50 centimeters up the line I've repeated the process I have another three-way swivel with my long shank hook so essentially I've got my line coming down with two droppers long shank hook bit of line another long shank hook bit more line and then my snap swivel uh, with my star sinker on the bottom. I like using the snap swivel because I can change the weight of the sinker depend depending on the conditions or how far I want to cast. Um, I can put a heavier sinker on or a lighter sinker. So this is a great rig. I really like it. It's actually, I use it pretty much all the time for whiting. I don't really fish with single hook rigs that much. It's just good having two baits and you can also catch two fish at the same time, which often happens when there's plenty of fish there. So I can highly recommend this fishing rig. So there you have it, my favourite rigs for beach fishing. All the information is in the description underneath. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and if you've got any questions, please put it in comments. Don't forget to keep your eyes open for my baits video on the best baits for beach fishing. That's coming out next. And if you're struggling to catch beach worms, go to my website, beachworming.com.au, where I've got my complete masterclass training series. This is working really well for people, and it doesn't matter where you are, you can learn how to catch beach worms. Please let me know if you've had success. I love hearing your stories and all the best with your fishing.